This is my computer that I do all of my CG, visual effects, uh, 3D, compositing, graphic work on when I'm at my office. My base model M1 Pro MacBook Pro. I do this by utilizing a remote workflow to remote into my main workstation that I use on a daily basis for heavy, heavy visual effects. Today I want to talk about that workflow and why it's important and why I use this to be able to work from anywhere and have access to my files 24-7 no matter where I am. Remote workflow is important for a couple of reasons, I think. Uh, the first reason is using a remote workflow gives me access to all of my files 24-7. I can always get into my main workstation that houses all of my resources and all of my raw footage from all of these videos and things that I use for partners in my agency work. I can get to all those files and utilize a service like Google Drive to get them from there to wherever I need them at any given point in time. I feel like that's a very important thing, especially when working with partners or clients on all different kinds of things in the visual effects pipeline. Another big reason that I'm a proponent of the remote workflow is to stay inspired. Doing these jobs where we're tethered to large machines that uh, are by no means portable is uh, certainly less than ideal. And I think that the ease of use with remote workflows has become good enough by uh, 2022 that uh, we can use them to stay inspired, get away from our workstations. I take this to you know, coffee shops and different places all the time to just change my scenery and let me you know, refresh my brain and it, oftentimes gives me a new perspective on a project that I've been working on for a very long time. So I want to share with you the tools that I have found that have worked best for me in my remote workflow journey, so to speak, that I've kind of perfected, perfected over the last year and try to give you some options that you can use to sort of begin that journey on your own, even completely for free today. I'll open that discussion with my remote access software of choice, which is Parsec. I believe Parsec is the most powerful remote access tool that is available to uh, specifically individuals today. Um, I can't really speak to the team side of things where maybe something like TeamViewer would be better, but, but for an individual who's trying to expand their remote workflow capabilities, Parsec is gonna be the most powerful tool today, I think. Now Parsec was originally developed for gaming, so it puts a heavy emphasis on low latency, meaning you can, and I do, actually edit videos in real time using Parsec from this MacBook Pro, this base level MacBook Pro, to my main workstation back at my apartment. Parsec is free for personal use, so an individual who is uh, just you know doing CG for fun, um, or anything like that can uh, use Parsec completely free. The only limitations are that the free version does not support multi-monitor setup or 444 color mode. Um, that second one I don't really think is a huge issue for most people, but once you move into uh, the commercial licenses for individuals, so this is what I use, uh, it's only $8 per month for, uh, you know, per month per user. And so that unlocks those uh, big features for creatives like using multiple monitors and uh, 444 color mode. And so essentially what that allows me to do uh, for $8 a month is work from anywhere in the world on my main workstation in real time, almost natively. Um, so in Parsec, if you, uh, you know, open your second screen, for instance, it opens in another tab and I'm able to uh, drag and drop windows between those just as I am, you know, natively. So it really is just a seamless process. And with Parsec being so focused on low latency, uh, there is, there's no lag. Audio is in sync when editing video. Uh, everything happens in real time. I can real time preview my uh, animations in Cinema 4D, Blender, Houdini, anything like that. And so uh, Parsec was kind of a no-brainer and really changed my life um, as a creative, just being able to 
have one machine instead of needing uh, one in each location, both at my office and at my house. And uh, just being able to use this computer um, on the go and do basically whatever I need. The other thing that Parsec allows me to do and that I'm able to do with this whole remote workflow is record videos. So a lot of uh, my tutorials that I record from this office, and by a lot of them I mean all of the tutorials that I record from this office, I'm recording live on my native desktop straight through the Parsec client. And having real-time access to processing power like that on a computer like this, or even one that is, you know, a little lower spec than this, is uh, pretty unmatchable. But what if you don't necessarily want to, you know, add another subscription into your library? What if your software suite already costs enough for your own well-being? Uh, there is another great option in Google Remote Desktop that offers most of the features that Parsec does uh, at just the cost of a little higher latency. Google Remote Desktop is just as powerful a tool offering most but not all of the features that the $8 version of Parsec does. With Google Remote Desktop you can easily manage two monitors, you can move files between system directly via Google Drive link, and ultimately the latency isn't that big of an issue, um, but the only real reason that I still prefer Parsec is because when editing videos or anything like that, there's just not really any comparison between having a real-time experience and a mild latency experience. So if all you're doing is navigating a viewport, doing some graphic design, uh, anything like that, Google Remote Desktop is certainly going to serve your needs just as well as anything out there. Completely free, linked in with your Google accounts, uh, you know, no strings attached. There's really no way to beat it. Uh, the remote workflow is such an easy process in 2022. It really is insane. So that is my remote workflow and the tools that I choose to use. Uh, this was just supposed to be a shorter video, kind of introducing the thought of a remote workflow to uh, other creative professionals like myself. Um, this process, like I said, really has changed my life. Um, as far as my flexibility and freedom, I'm going to Houston next week for an entire week uh, to meet with a partner in person and I wouldn't be able to do that and still upkeep my R&D or anything like that without workflows like this. So it's just, it's mind boggling to think about the technology and the opportunities that we have with these technologies today. So this was just supposed to be a short video. Just wanted to introduce the topic. Um, if you have a remote workflow software that you prefer over either of these, um, I would be curious to know what it is and why. Uh, leave it in the comments below. Um, I'm always looking to you know, improve my own workflows. So if somebody makes a compelling argument, I will always be happy to look at it. If this video excited you, inspired you, please leave a like. It does help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Like I said, leave any uh, questions in the comments below, any comments, anything that uh, you think you know, I could do better or that you think that your workflow serves you better in. And uh, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe if it helped you out and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.